Come on, take us to Zoom Social. Sure, welcome to the Zoom Social. Right here, um, let's just take a quick tour. You'll see that I'm on my personal profile page on my Zoom Social site. And at the centerpiece of the Zoom Social is this Zoom card. It's your personal Zoom card, which you can personalize like I did with my Zoom tag, my Zoom pick, and I even have some background wallpaper here, which is one of my favorite pieces of artwork. What this Zoom card does is really attracts my most listened to artist, my most listened to songs, and of course I've tagged some of my favorite artists. So it's actually tracking everything you're doing on your Zoom on the PC or on the device. That's right. So my friends can see that Ted Leo or Rufus Wainwright or Band of Forces are some of my favorite bands. And it does that in real time and dynamically. So it's, it's really cool for you to track, but mostly for your friends to track. Um, the community has actually embraced this and taken this to the next level. And they've made an application already that you can simply post your Zoom card to your Facebook page where you may spend a lot of time uh, or any social networking or blog site. But the really cool part of the social, it's all about people-powered music discovery. Right. And what I mean by that is, uh, I'll show you. If I scroll down here with my friends list, you can see my friends. You can see what they've been listening to, the last three track, ED Prez, I think this is you. <laughs> well, let's go take a look. We should take a look at my page and see, what, see what's, what's going on there. Okay, great. So here you are. Um, and I can look down the right-hand side of Robbie's page, and I can discover his most recently played songs. Clearly some of this music <laughs> is dating me. <laughs> well, it's there for everyone to see. There you go. Um, we have your favorites and your most played artists. And I notice up here some of your favorites include Jack Johnson, John Legend, The Fray. The top of the list is The Shins. And The Shins are a cool band, and they happen to be huge Xbox 360 fans, so I'm going to jump to their site. So what we have here is the Zoom social site for the Shins. And then, so they've created their own card for the band. That's right. So what this is, is you can see their albums, but you can also see the top played songs uh, from the Zoom social site, and you can see the top fans of the Shins. And you can see here, this is yet another act of discovery, because you can say this, this fan that likes the Shins also likes the Silver Sun Pickups and the Decemberists. And if I wanted to, I could go check them out because maybe since I like the shins, I'll like them too. Again, a really collective discovery, you can spend a lot of time here. But we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to uh, just jump up here and you can see Sleeping Lessons. It's a bit of an old song, uh, it came out last year, but I've been meaning to buy it. Right. I can either sample a track or simply click to buy. And what that does is it closes the loop from discovery of the song to purchasing. So you see here that I'm in Zoom Marketplace. Right. And with a click of the button, I can download and then stick it to my Zoom, and it's it's all, all set. So now you've seen the full circle of people exploring, finding new songs, finding friends, having an experience, and ultimately buying and helping to build the music business in a stronger way. That's right. And I don't know about you, Robbie. I'm a full-time working mom, and I don't really have a lot of time to be listening to music on my PC. So when I do listen to music, it's on my device, and on the go, and in a car. So if we had a car, to show you. Well, I think we can probably accommodate you. So what, let's uh, let's move from Zoom Social, we'll talk about okay, um, the automotive space a little bit. Uh, Microsoft launched our Microsoft Auto product in Europe with Fiat, and they've done a fabulous job running our software. And then last year, we announced a partnership with Ford to produce what is called Ford Sync, and that's powered by our Microsoft Auto software. In the United States, Ford expects to ship nearly a million Sync-enabled cars next year. And they are expanding it across their line of Ford, Mercury, and Lincoln cars, including this new 2008 Lincoln MKX. Molly's in the car. I'm going to jump in with her. We're going to give you a sense of how this works. Okay, take it away, Molly. All right, so um, when I'm driving, like most people, I want my hands on the wheel and my eyes on the road. But I also want to do a little bit of multitasking. I want to be able to access all my devices. And with the Zoom, with, with the Sync, you can do just that. So for example, uh, the Zoom that I was just talking about, or works with any MP3 player, easily plugs into the console here. And the thousands of songs that I have loaded here um, are all synced to the, to the car. Additionally, um, I have here my Windows mobile phone, and it will work with any Bluetooth-enabled cell phone. 
and all my hundreds of contacts that I want to call my friends, my family, are all automatically downloaded and synced into my car for easy, hands-free, um, and all you need to do, you can do all of these things while driving, just with the sound of your voice. So why don't we try, let's try playing a track. Okay, great. Let's, um, let's do that, and maybe you can pick one of your favorite songs. USB, please say a command. Play track cars. Playing track cars. Thank you. 